Hey guys, Amy here with your April swag. I figured it's about time we can get some summer nails going. So we've got some fun neon brights and this is what is included in your swag this month. You got two of the new gel liners and these are neon colors. They're super bright, super pigmented, uh, great for all types of summer nail art. Also received an angelic glitter. This is a nice transparent iridescent glitter. This one's got kind of a gold hue to it. You might notice some of your packages may have had Pixie or Prism X. These are all iridescent, so they're going to show your color um, that you have underneath the glitter. So also included is a nude gel either Undercover Agent, Captivating Kitten, there's quite a few of our favorites that we threw in this month's swag, and then a Super Polish Top Gel. So this is a soakable gel top coat, um, 60 second cure. This is great over any gel polishes, will not discolor, and like I said, it's soakable so you won't have any problems with cracking or chipping. It is an all around go-to for a great top coat. So I've already started and I prepped my tips with two coats of the nude gel. This color is Undercover Agent, uh, just to let you know. This is a perfect nude for any skin tone, one of our most popular colors. Of course, I'm wearing it like I always do. So we did our two coats, fully cured these. Um, it, this is going to leave a slight tacky layer on top, which is completely fine. Um, we're not wiping that tacky layer off or anything. We're just going right in with our neon uh, liners. So I did color coordinate. Um, in your swags, you either got pink and peach or yellow and green or blue and purple. I did this so when we ombre our design, you have a good flow from color to color. So Obviously, we're going to follow the same techniques regardless of what colors you got in your swag bag. And basically, I'm just starting with the darker color. Again, this is preference. You can start with whichever one you want to. And I'm just going to start to outline my design. So I'm going for kind of like a butterfly wing kind of shape design. So I am just outlining and what I'm going to do is only use this first color halfway down the nail or I should say halfway down the design so that we can take our other color and ombre that up into the color so it looks like the design is fading down the nail and I'm just using the tip of the brush. The lines don't have to be perfect but for the design that we're doing we are going to go back over this with glitter later so don't make your lines too thin. You want them to be a little bit on the thicker side and you'll notice also I'll take the tip of the brush and kind of round off any edges that I have in my design. Okay now that I'm happy with that top part of the design I'm going in with my second color and I'm just meeting those lines and continu continuing the design down the nail. Words are hard for me today guys. So here I am just kind of ombre the two colors together. They ombre super easy and again this is why I tried to kind of coordinate the colors so that I knew that they would ombre easy together for you. So I'm just taking the brush. I have not cured this pink yet. So going back over it with the orange is nice and easy. Keep a towel or something down that you can continuously wipe your brush because you don't want to contaminate your colors. If I put this orange brush back in the bottle and it has a little bit of pink on it, you know, I want to not do that. So I am continuously wiping the brush before I put it back in the bottle. But we're going to continue this out and same thing, any harsh um, angles that I have on the design, I'm going to kind of round those out as well. Also, you'll notice I am kind of framing the entire nail where the design is. This will just give this type of a design more of a finished look. So once we're happy with the design, we are going to go ahead and cure this for a full 60 seconds. Now once this comes out of the light fully cured, we are going to take our super polished top coat and 
cover this and we are going to cure again for a full 60 seconds. All right, I am quickly going to do the rest of my designs and I'm leaving the ring finger so that we can do our tie dye buddy. Here we go again. Tie dye butterfly last. So we'll get these ones done real quick. We'll get them in the light cured and we will also get our top coat on these. Okay, so these are out of the light. They're all cured. Our top coat is on there. And we're going to go back through and we're going to redo the entire design on every nail, but we're going to do this much thinner. So that's why our first coat was thicker lines on our design. So just take your brush, wipe off some of that gel polish, and like I said, just kind of trace exactly where you were for your first design. And we're going to go over it again. And this is where we're going to pour the glitter in. And the reason that we're doing this the second time is if we poured the glitter right into the first coat, you wouldn't see the color behind it, if that makes sense. I want the bright neon color kind of to outline where the raw glitter design is going to go. All right, so now we are going to pour our glitter right into the wet design and we're going to put this in the lamp and cure for 60 seconds. Then go ahead and repeat this step on all of the other three nails that we created. Okay, so now for our tie-dye butterfly. The first thing we're going to do is take the super polished top coat. We are going to put this on. Now, not all top coats are created equal. so. If you are trying this technique with a different top coat, like I know I tried with our Outshine and it spread too much. So the super top is a perfect viscosity for this type of design. And we're going to put that on not too thick because you don't want it to run too much. So nice thin coat of top coat. And then we're going to take our stripers and we are going to mark where we want our butterfly wings. Basically by just putting small lines where the wing is going to be. You want to keep these kind of close together, but not touching because we need to put our other color right in between. Now, getting the placement on this is a little tricky. It took me a few tries to get the wings to where I wanted them. So don't be afraid if you're you know not getting the placement perfect the first couple times. Don't be afraid to mark it somehow underneath so you know exactly how you want your wings to line up. And also keep in mind, you want kind of the shape of an egg. You want them thin on the ends, like shorter lines on the ends, and a little bit longer lines towards the middle. And we are just placing our other color. Mind you, this is all wet gel polish. Your top coat is still wet, and all of the lines that you're creating are still wet. Your smallest, shortest lines should be towards the edges. Next, we're going to clean off our brush really well. And we're going to just stripe right down the center first. And then we'll do the edges. Also keeping in mind that you're keeping that egg shape in your head as you're stripe, pulling that striper all the way through. You don't want to make straight lines on the edges because then it's going to make it more look like a square and not so rounded. So keep those edges rounded and keep thinking egg shape. And once you're happy with the design, 
Now we're going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And last, we're just doing the body of the butterfly, just a line and pull it through, give it a little tail, a dot for the head, and a few antennas. And go ahead and cure that. Oh, I just love it. It's so cute. So let's get this top coated and put it back in the lamp and give it a 60 second cure. Okay, so that will do it. Um, it looks like I didn't catch the last bit of the video, which is where I framed the nail with the nail liner and then poured glitter on it. I feel like this just made the whole design flow a little bit better and it made the butterfly nail match the rest of the design. But basically, same thing as we did with our design. We just sugared the gel liner with the glitter and then cured it right in there. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see y'all next month.